Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Teacher Dell, and today we will have another class in the Disaster Risk Reduction Management, focusing on volcanic hazards. So, what are the different kinds of volcanic hazards and volcanic phenomena? Before we go into that, let us define volcanic hazards. Volcanic hazards are phenomena arising from volcanic activity that pose potential threat to persons or property in a given area within a given period of time. So let's go through them one by one. The first one is your lava flow. Lava flows are stream-like flows of incandescent molten rock erupted from a crater or fissure. When lava is degassed and or very viscous, it tends to extrude extremely slowly, forming lava domes, just like what you can see there in the picture at the right side of your screen. So what are the hazards that this lava flow can bring to people and the community? Lava flows rarely threaten human life because lava, just like what we said before, usually moves slowly. A few centimeters per hour for silicic flows to several kilometers per hour for basaltic flows. Most characterize this as quiet effusion of lava. Major hazards of lava flows are the following. The first one is hmm, burying, crushing, covering, and burning everything on its path. So just like what we said, again, lava can burn, lava can bury, and the affected areas of the lava flow, once it solidifies, it is rendered useless and will not be useful anymore especially for agricultural uses for you know years due to the solid nature of the lava deposit as you can see there in the photo yes we have there a big caterpillar trying to crush everything and imagine yourself trying to you know plant in that kind of area or soil so yep it will not turn out well. Next one is your ash fall or tephra fall. So ash fall or tephra fall are, flower, uh, are, shower, are showers of airborne fine to coarse grained volcanic particles that fall out from the plumes of a volcanic eruption. Ash fall distribution or dispersal is very dependent on prevailing wind directions. Now this photo over here is from the ash fall from Mount Pinatubo, which is located from the Philippines, uh, year 1991. So the massive effect of the eruption of Mount Pinatubo did not just uh, affect the Philippines, but the entire world. So what are the hazards and other effects of ash fall or tephra fall? First, it can cause poor or low visibility, loss of agricultural land, and dangerous for aircrafts as the abrasive ash can cause the engines to fail. And it also carries harmful gases, acids, salt, and close to the vent, heat. So as you can see there, we have another picture. This is the DC-1030 resting on its tail due again to Mount Pinatubo's ash fall. Poor airplane. Next one is your pyroclastic flows and surges or pyroclastic density current. Now this again, this photo is from the eruption of Pinatubo volcano. Pyroclastic flows or turbulent mass of ejected fragmented volcanic materials such as ash and rocks mixed with hot gases that flow down slope at a very high speed. So mostly you can see this in different kinds of movies, you know, a car racing against the a car racing against the pyroclastic flows of the volcano. 
And surges are the more dilute or more mobile derivatives or pyroclastic flow. So it's much smaller and out with uh, not much rocks. So it's like smoke. So what are the hazards and effects of your pyroclastic flow? Ooh, sorry for that very drastic photo. So what are the hazards and effects of pyroclastic flow? It can destroy anything on its path by direct impact, burn site with hot rocks, debris, burn forests, farmlands, destroy crops and buildings, and of course the deadly effects include asphyxiation or inhaling of hot ash and gases imagine yourself imagine yourself you know inhaling a very hot air gas and it has ashes on it oh my goodness and of course it can bury you it can incinerate you know burn you and you know crush you from its impacts so let's move on to the next one. We have lahars. So lahars are rapidly flowing thick mixture of volcanic sediments from the pyroclastic materials and it is already mixed with water. As you can see there. Now this photo is from the mm, mud flow or the lahar near Mayon Volcano. Next one is your volcanic gases. Gases and aerosols released into the atmosphere, which include water vapor, hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen chloride, and hydrogen fluoride. So those are the different volcanic gases. Next one is your debris avalanche or volcanic landslide. This is a massive collapse of a volcano usually triggered by an earthquake or volcanic eruption. And the last one is your ballistic projectiles. These are volcanic materials directly ejected from the volcano's vent with force and trajectory. So look at that photo. Like that, yeah. Sorry for that sound. Okay, so that's it for our volcanic hazards. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. This has been Teacher Doll. Bye!